Hello guys, uh, I'm, I'm Wes Liu. And I'm Franco. Today we are going to talk about our final project, uh, simulation video streaming over wireless networks with NAF3. So, uh, as we all know, the combination of video streaming services and wireless networks plays an important role in many fields. And so, in our project, we are trying to evaluate and optimize the performance of the video streaming application of the wireless networks. So the simulation is uh, designed to provide uh, real-time measurements and it uh, saves the high cost for the real equipment. Um, but the video streaming, uh, well, no, it's a technology used to deliver funding from server to clients over the internet without the uh, downloading. Right? And the uh, multimedia streaming is one of the most popular and successful streaming uh, services. Uh, so for the adaptive video streaming, so traditional progress, uh, progress of video streaming is simply one single video file being streamed over the internet. Um, and the video can be stretched or shown to fit different uh, screen resolutions. Um, so this technique brings two main problems. Uh, first, the device with high screen resolution and the video resolution with the possibility of counter pixelation. And the second, the device with full internet connection uh, will need to pause for receiving all or video data to the buffer. So the adaptive streaming is a technique to um, deliver the multimedia contents to the user in the most efficient way and in the highest possible quality. So it requires the video streaming server to create different video files for different screen sizes and it will lower the video quality for the device with slow uh, internet uh, connection. So, um, in our project, uh, we implement the, um, both the streaming, video streaming um, server and video streaming accounts. And uh, we implement the um, in a model of applications. So for the video streaming server, uh, we have the uh, time intervals to send the packet, and we have the maximum size of packet, and then we have some uh, variables related to our sockets, and then we have the primary, the video lines, frame file used to simulate the video file and this frame size is to, is to um, read from the frame file and we have uh, information about the clients. Uh, so if the uh, video frame file is now uh, specified, we will use the specified size for different uh, uh, resolutions. So here, um, the main part of the server is to handle the different of uh, handle the multiple clients. Uh, so in our projects, um, after the uh, after the um, server uh, and after the server completes the ports and the clients complete the uh, server. So the clients need to send an information to the server basically ask for uh, which video file it requires. So when server receive this uh, socket, uh, it will check if the client is already inside the uh, hash map. So we found this if we found this address of the client. Oh, and if we didn't find the IP address of the client, we will create a new client for the, um, uh, for the new client for the server, and then we will uh, record, uh, record the IP address, uh, and we will schedule the same event for the client. Uh, another thing is that if the client is on, um, other information like the request to increase or lower the video quality. So the server will um, read from the topic and then update the uh, video model for each time. So 
so from the from the plan, um, so it has um, target as the the most common thing in the source part, and then it has the method in there. This is method is going to give you um, weight of the uh, weight of the source which is that the visual range to the master. And after the basic measure the link before we're trying to start to put the video. Um, the top parameter we need to um to visit to check or to check if the uh, if the server if if the time to stop the application. The example counter is used to show the customer about the and to check if the if the lower video quality is um, needed. The video level um, set is um, current with the video quality. So, in here, it's the same percent of the same time. So, in some cases, it is to count how many about the foundation of the site of the water. Um, we have the water system side, so we have the water side, and we have the three of them starting from the current. And 
also like uh, how is there a common times is a primary treatment like the body of stuff. So um the first case and the second case is really similar to the homo B before. Um and also similar to the first uh, the first stuff we see we got uh when we learn today. So it's just point to point with uh data rate and data grade size. And uh, we said uh, I could be for address. And then uh, the uh, the new store, the application, the client application, and the server application. So the client application in our case is the video screen client uh, helper. And so video client server. And our video video server is only stored in, in the server side. Um, and so the first two cases is easy. And then let me introduce this to the third case. The third case and the fourth case is relative. And we can see we set up like uh, the the member of the site point, which is our server, and also the member of the of, of the client. We we can this parameter as uh, how many mobile accounts we have. And we uh, created the node, and then you have to set up the Wi-Fi channel and the Wi-Fi decoder. So in this, uh, you just use the, the, the default size they have. And um, in this case, we also use the AARL, which is uh, an algorithm to control the rate and. The SSID is that means in our case we use uh, IEE uh, AA1 sub 2 um, and this is how they set up all the nodes. And then because as I said our client is uh, it's moving. They're all mobile devices. You can see if we have a laptop, uh, we have, and then you have a laptop or uh, or, or your iPhone, your parent area. So you will stay away from the server. And so you are moving. So this is how we set up like uh, the star position, but you randomly walk in this zone. But for the server, it's unstable. So it's that it has a Fixed model for the service, and the client model is can be moved, then move. And after we install, uh, we install the radio service and the radio client in our service app and client side. We set up the login and start the Um In the third case and the fourth case, uh, the most part is same since that. Uh, how many servers is different. For case one, only have one server, and for case two, we have multiple servers and multiple clients. Um, okay, I will try to run a similar view. So uh, this is a similar like I already uh, like I already said that before. So this is the case three, you can see. So we have one server and we have three clients, and the three clients is moving. And yeah, because it's randomly moving, so you can see when it's moving and the rate will change. Uh, we also going to show you like when um, uh, our adapt case, which will change rate will change in our case. So we will now.
Kami ang Kasi want to mag-aan now to enough our friends in the buffer and they see what happens a lot of times. So the time the world is hard to serve us to go and that we don't want to have it. In the other case, the world on Krista of the buffer. So that's all from us. Thank you for watching. Um,